Ron Garzine Fair and we're here at Village Green Festival in our talks tent. Our talks tent is co-curated with Galdem. We've got the zine library here and all of our talks have been DIY in theme, so how to do it yourself. My ethos is for women, trans and non-binary people to take up more space. Things like Garzine Tent and platforms like Galdem Magazine give people from these minority backgrounds um, the opportunity to do that so yeah. we've been talking about life being a diy artist and how to navigate the music industry as an independent artist hi so my name is charlie craggs and i'm a trans activist and author and i'm kind of best known for my campaign nail transphobia where i travel around the uk with a pop-up nail salon and offer the public free manicures for the chance to sit down and have a chat with a trans person so while people get their nails done they can ask me questions about trans stuff or we can just have a chat but the point is they're getting to meet a trans person because most people haven't and that's where transphobia comes from so i've been doing that here today and it's been amazing i feel the influx of these events and taking up space is needed um, and it gives us all more visibility i was performing on the girl zine main stage if you create a safe space, even in just one part of the festival, it, it you know permeates. People need to feel like safe in their environment and welcomed. And I wish everywhere was like this. And let's go out. Talks tent, workshops, the girl main stage, that's for Riot Girl bands. We are T Bitch, we are a trans, queer, Riot Girl, punk band. We just played for the girl scene stage. <laughs> super honour because there's so many great bands playing here so pretty nervous to be on a stage with all of those people but yeah great. So Kaylee from Cobalt was um, hosting the panel and me and her were basically talking about how you can get into the music business and yeah focusing a little bit more on kind of behind the scenes. We do live screen printing engagements to highlight the human and environmental impact of fast fashion. Because it was girlzine we wanted to really highlight the fact that 75% of textile workers, garment workers, are women. People really have a disconnect with the garments that they buy and the fact that life can be pretty tough for the people who make them. So I'm friends with Lou, who's the founder, and uh, yeah, she got me back this year and I was really happy too because it was such a nice vibe. I really like how the, uh, at this festival a lot of children are there, so a lot of children are getting their nails done and like children are obviously meeting a trans person and having a chat with a trans person, so I think it's a really great space. Being DIY is absolutely amazing because you have full creative control over what you do, right? You haven't got anyone telling you to be somebody you're not. Just like doing what you want to do and making what you want to make. Get yourselves out there and support each other as well because that's how we keep this thing going. It means breaking out of the hegemony of society. It means doing things yourself, empowering other people. Yeah. Not having a fear of failure. DIY to me is Obviously doing it yourself, but also empowering other people. Don't wait for someone else to do something, do it yourself. This community that has come together is like so nice and empowering and uplifting. We go, we go, we go, we go every night!